What's up YouTube? This is Edward with the Apple Whisper. Welcome back and I'm gonna show you how to install today a clock builder. And I gotta tell you guys this video is gonna take a little long, but I'm gonna show you step by step how to install it. So let's get started. So this is what you're gonna need. You're gonna need clock builder of course and you're gonna need LS Sync. I'm going to show you how to install it right now. You're going to need iFile and Winterboard. And another thing you're going to need, you're going to need to go into Cydia and install. You go to search. Let's wait one second in here. It's a little slow. It's all what it is. And you're going to need to install Typo Clock Builder. You go to search and you just type in Typo Clock Builder like this. So with type of clock already installed, and uh, we're gonna go back, go back, and we're gonna go into Winterboard, <clears throat> select teams. Sorry, yeah. So you're gonna click on type of clock, you're gonna activate that, and you're gonna put it on the first place, so we can see it on the first place. So that way we know it's working. So go Winterboard and then Respring. You will have to respring after that. Okay, once you have that, you're also going to need to SSH your device with your computer to install in order to install LS Sync. And that's the thing. I've seen a few videos on YouTube on how to install LS Sync and none of them works because they are not actually showing the way or how to install it properly. So you are going to need to SSH to install that. I will give you the link to uh, download LS Sync into your computer and then you SSH and you download the small uh, the small application from your computer from your computer sorry to your iPhone okay guys so here we are uh, here's the link as you can see this is the link I'm going to post below of the description of the video sorry so you you're gonna click on that link and auto automatically it's gonna start downloading and you're gonna have something like this yeah so that's the small software as you can say and <clears throat> I'm using I'm connected already to SSH I connect my iPhone to the computer so I'm using uh, iPhone browser as you can see so for that you're gonna need to go we're gonna click let's go back I'm gonna click into var you see it right there you're gonna click into var the plus button and then we're going to drag the document into here so once you drop that I already have it in here so I don't need to drop it again so once you drop that you can close that if you want and then you're gonna click all that you can close all that and then I will see you on my iPhone okay so once you have done SSH in your uh, device and uh, you will need to reboot your iPhone or your iPod or whatever you're using you're gonna need to reboot once you reboot you should have the icon this icon right here you should have this one it should appear on your screen if you don't have it you go into iFile you go into uh, it's a little slow one second okay you're gonna go into okay all the way back and then go var and remember the small iPhone iPhone and the small document we dragged into the SSH so here it is it's this one right here so you're gonna click on that I mean sorry you lift your you're gonna hold on oh my god again okay so you're gonna have this C viewer on archiver installer and downloads you're gonna click installer and this is what you're gonna have 
Okay, you start to finish. You see finished uh, with the result code zero. So you click done and then go back and then you're going to need to reboot again. Once you reboot, if you don't have it, you have to do it everything again all the way back because you might have something you might have done something wrong so you're gonna have to do it again or try to check out what was your mistake or something but you should have this icon this is the main thing you're gonna need because with this without that you can't download your themes and you can uh, you can have your lock screen like this let me show you like this one yeah but you got the widget the time so make sure you do that okay and then you are ready to start working on clock builder I'm using at the moment this one so to install another one you go into the world and let's go for example okay I don't want to let's do this one you click download you say whatever you want to say I don't know kid accept then it's not downloading so you go back so you should have it you have it in here okay so you click on that kid you activate them it's activated so click again and then set as lock screen I don't know what happened error appears let me try it again set as lock screen so so it's working now so let's go back we're gonna need to go into LS sync and then hit the sync theme the blue button here it says sync thing you do you don't you do that once you do that it's done check out your screen your lock screen there you go you got the key hey <laughs> hey with the clock pretty cool clock so that's all you need to do now I'm not gonna show you how to edit the theme I'm gonna do that later maybe in another video but you can you can actually edit everything in here you can actually edit the time the widget or you can start you can start by building your own you can make your own uh, clock so I will do that in, a, in another video so make sure you have all these four things clock builder LS sync i5 winter board and what else do I need to tell you guys okay of course you need to install on Cydia you need, you need to have the type of clock builder I'm telling you this because make sure to have it that's the mistake many people is doing so they're asking me and they're telling me how to do it so this is the way you should if you can do it if you couldn't do it by somehow you couldn't do it let me know let you leave your comments below leave your thumbs up if, if it worked for you and uh, let me check again one more time yeah there you go so let me know what you think guys this is Cedar with the Apple Whisperer Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys later.